Hey guys, welcome back. Many people love the RG35XX, but even with Garlic OS, it really lags behind the competition when playing Amiga. In today's video, we're going to install and test Batacera, and we'll even get N64 working on it too. And maybe some Dreamcast. Welcome to Team Pandora. Subscribe. It is tea time. In the video where we retro modded our RG35XX, we broke our buttons, ruined the screen, and did a lousy paint job. Even though it's somewhat functional, I'm still reluctant to get a replacement, as the Miu Mini currently does everything this can, plus Amiga. Let's see if we can change it up with Batacera. To install Batacera, we'll need a spare microSD. We're going to insert this into our computer. On the Batacera for 35XX website, we're going to look for our download link. Click this, and we'll be transported to the GitHub. Now scroll down to the asset section for the latest release. Look for the file name with a .gz at the end of it, and click it. Now select a place on your computer where you want to save the file. If you're forgetful, use the desktop. If you don't have the program Etcher installed, go to the website and download it. Click this. I'm going to press download here. Again, save it to your computer. Then once it's downloaded, click it to install. When it's finished installing, it should open automatically. It might be hiding though. There it is. Click on Flash from File, and select the .gz file we downloaded earlier. Click Open, then select Target. Now select our micro SD card, ours is 128 gigs, so that's the one. And now Flash. Push Yes. And if you get something like this, push Cancel. You may need to wait around 10 minutes for the flashing to complete. Once it's finished, it'll want to validate it. If you want to wait, you can do so, but if you know it's a genuine card, we can skip. Now close Etcher, and you may get screens like this. Cancel. OK. Cancel. Ca cancel. Ca ca cancel it. Now find your Batacera, right click, and eject. With Batacera burnt onto your microSD, insert it into your RG35XX. And then turn on. Give it a good screw, and she will get turned on. We'll get a screen full of logos, then the Batacera wallpaper, followed by some setup screens. Depending on the size of the micro SD, this may take a while, so go grab a cup of tea, sit back, and relax. Once Batacera is fully installed, the device will turn off. Well, let's turn it back on to see if it works. Mine works flawlessly. I am John Luke with a hairy chest. And we're in. First we'll need to set up the controls, so hold a button down, and push each button on the controller as prompted. For anything we can't configure, hold the button down to skip. I sometimes hold Wesley down by placing a potato on him, or I strap him to the front of my spaceship with duct tape. Boo-hoo. We can only see the systems when games are present for it. Batacera gives us some free games, but if you want to play some N64, we'll need to add some N64 ROMs to the correct folder. To play a game, we need to select a system, then the game we want to play. Let's try out some of these free games. This is brilliant. Hey, you won't fight them. Wow. <laughs> to get to the quick menu, hold the hotkey and then press X. From here we can change the emulation settings. But if you want a quick save during game, hold hotkey and square. To quick load, hold hotkey and triangle. To exit out, hold hotkey and start, and that'll bring us back to the game menu. But let's check out some more games. Reflectron. Sant Atlantic. 2048. Classic Kong. Space Twins 
So the stock game's alright, but you want to add some. So go down to quit, and then shut down system. And yes, you really want to shut it down. Much like before, grab your micro SD card and insert it into your computer. As is, we can only add extra games to Batacero with Linux, so what we need to do is use a partition manager. Mini Tool Partition Wizard is free, so download and install it from this website. Once installed, load it up, and it'll detect all drives on your system. Have a quick scan for Batacera, then select the partition named Share. We can either right-click it and then select Format, or use the Partition drop-down menu at the top. Once done, we're going to change the file system to XFAT. You can also choose FAT32, but XFAT is more stable and less likely to get corrupted. So click this, and then OK. So down here it's changed, but we still need to press Apply. So do so, and then Yes. Wait a little, and then press OK. We can exit the tool, and then eject the microSD. As we formatted the partition, there are no folders for us to copy our games to. So loading up Batasera again, we'll recreate the folders on our new XFAT partition. So once it's loaded up, we shut it down again, and then put it back into our PC. And now that we can see the share partition, we can copy in the BIOS files, pop them in here. There's a few other folders, like cheats, decorations, music, and for game files, we need to copy it into here, ROMs. Each system here has its own separate folder, and once you copy in a compatible game ROM, the system will be shown on the main Batacera menu. If you want to know which ROM types are needed for each system, you should check the Batacera wiki. It also explains which BIOS files are needed. The BIOS files are required for a few systems to run well, notably the Neo Geo, Atari ST, and Commodore Amiga. Find out what you need on the wiki, and then bung them in. So now that we've copied over some games, we can see that they've been added to the menu. If we had Wi-Fi or a network connection, we could scrape the artwork for each game. But as we don't, let's tidy this up a little. In the user interface settings, we can go to theme configuration, and in game list view style, we'll change it to basic. Hit back a few times, let's see how it looks. Yeah, that's much better. There are actually many options we can change in Batacera. In system settings, we've got the power options, and if English is not your native language, we can change it here. Moving through this menu, there's brightness options, video output will be needed for HDMI out, and you can either under or overclock the system here. Before we get into games testing, there's one more thing we'd like to mention. For Dreamcast, Naomi, and the Thomas Wave, we had to change the core to Flycast standalone, otherwise many games would not run. If you're having issues with other systems not running, you may need to change the emulator like we're doing here. So, let's see what the system can do. First up, ports. Beats of Rage. Doom. And Scum VM. Unfortunately, with the current version, the controls are not working. Now to computers, Spectrum. Atari ST. You might notice that the screen's not being filled. We can change that in the scaling options of RetroArch. Go down to scaling, change aspect ratio to custom, and then mess with these numbers here. Close enough. But how is it for the Commodore Mega? Unfortunately, pretty bad. Again, in the retro arc options, we can change frame skip to 1. It does improve it a little, but it still pales in comparison to the Mii Mini. Let's try some consoles. Sega CD. Super Nintendo. Nintendo 64 But the RG35 XX is still a low-power budget handheld So the more demanding N64 titles will slow down
It's some PlayStation 1. And believe it or not, PlayStation Portable. But this is limited to only 2D games. When it comes to 3D, the games are not playable at all. And we have a similar story for the Dreamcast. Here's Cap Comfort's SNK2. Ikaruga. And Soul Calibur. With these newly added systems available with Barracera, its arrival is a very welcome one. It might not be able to play every game at full speed, but it sure can hold us over until it's time to upgrade. As we finish off, here's a big thank you to all of those on our Patreon. Here at Team Pandori, we make guides, reviews, and fix cheap arcade boxes in the A-Family Dream Mini. If you want to support our work, please jump on, or a simple like and subscribe goes a long way. Not as long as my majestic joystick. Anyway, this has been Amy Chicken of Team Pandori, and I'll catch you on the next one. Ta-ra! Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you soon at John's Massage Parlor. Why not check another video from Team Pandory? Click-de-click. -click.